Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. This was highly requested, so I'm finally showing you guys how I get ready for bed. Um, on nights where I really want to pamper myself, I'll use the Origins Clear Improvement Mask with activated charcoal. And I usually do two layers of this, spreading it all over the face in my five dots technique, as always. Pretty thick so you want to spread it pretty quickly before it has time to dry and I find that I get better results when I do two layers of it one layer can be a little bit too sheer and I find that two layers draws out impurities a little bit better after it's dried after about 15 minutes I take a warm washcloth that has been wet and I just wipe away the mask from my face and as you can see the skin looks very bright and very clear i love this mask it does a great job it does leave a little bit of a film so i like to wash it off after i've even used the washcloth with some water I'm now just drying my face before i use my homemade oil mask the charcoal mask is a little bit drying, so I like to do a oil mask to rehydrate my skin. This is a combination of coconut, grapeseed, castor, avocado, and tea tree oil. So I usually leave this mask on for about 20 minutes before I wash it off. And I wet it first with warm water. And then I use another damp washcloth to wash off and wipe away the oil on my face. Now I am taking my Clarisonic and the St. Ives Tea Tree Cleanser and I'm just cleansing the rest of the oil off my face and getting a deep cleanse into the pores with the vibrating action of the Clarisonic. After patting my face dry, I'm going to take a cotton round and my Sea Breeze astringent. This is the salicylic acid astringent. I use this as my toner because it evens out the skin tone. And with the salicylic acid, it helps to control my acne. And if there are any nights where I get a little lazy and just need to go straight to sleep, I'll skip the steps after my astringent and just use that. It still does a sufficient job of helping controlling acne. Now I'm letting my serum soak in. This is the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum as always and I applied that in the five dots technique and I'm going to let that sit in for about five minutes while I apply my DIY lip scrub which I will link in a video right here. rubbing that on my lips to help slough off any dead skin and the coconut oil will help condition and hydrate them as well. I do this every night before bed because I get very, very chapped lips, so I like to do this every night and it's absolutely delicious. Just applying a light layer of chapstick on my lips to condition them before I continue with the rest of my face. And I'm going in with the Marcel 8-in-1 Serum. This is a sample that I got. I'm just trying it out. I really like it. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase it. It's not an all-natural product, so in the long run, I don't think I'll enjoy it as much as my Juice Beauty product. Now I'm going to go in with my Care Natural Tea Tree Controlling Cream. This is an all-natural product. It's very, very hydrating and it's really good at controlling acne without being too harsh. I like to combine that with the Burt's Bees Maximum Strength Acne Spot Treatment Cream. This is supposed to be a spot treatment, but I like to use it all over the face, so I do it in the five dots motion and then mix it all over to apply a thin layer everywhere. Now this stuff has beeswax in it, which helps protect your skin at night from any 
outside contaminants like dirt, but that also makes it a little hard to rub in. So keep that in mind if you guys decide to purchase this product. Now for some under eye leaven, I'm taking the Benefit It's Potent. This is a under eye cream. I got this as a sample about eight months ago and I literally still have not run out of it. It's amazing, I love this stuff. It's great for depuffing the eyes and it's really great at just preventing any wrinkles. I don't have any yet, but I do not want any. Now I'm finishing off with my Corez Wild Rose Vitamin C Moisturizer. This is a very thick moisturizer. It smells amazing. It's so fresh and luxurious. It smells like roses and it does a great job at brightening the skin. This is my second one and I've seen a huge, huge improvement in my acne scarring. It's gone away so much and I really attribute it to this product and my Juice Beauty Clearing Serum. And with this moisturizer, I like to just spread it over my skin lightly in a thin coat and then let it soak in. I don't rub it in. And now with my Maylin and Goetz lip balm, I'm just putting that all over my lips to condition them for the evening and make sure that they are nice and hydrated throughout the night. And this, guys, is my DIY Lash Hair Growth Serum that I've talked about. It's just a combination of a few oils that I spread every night over my brows and my lashes, and I will have a separate video on it coming up very soon. And it works amazingly, and it's really helped grow out my hairs a lot. So that concludes my nighttime routine, guys. I'm just gonna finish up with my Eucerin Intensive Repair Hand Cream. And yeah, that's how I keep my skin clear. This is what I do pretty much every night if I have time. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment bar down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next week. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye.